A New Orleans chef wants to encourage his community and this city to embrace fresh produce, all while revitalizing a central city corner. In two days, Chef Gary Netter will open a fresh food marketplace. Eleanor Tabone tells us Chef Netter says the space where it'll go hasn't seen life since Hurricane Katrina. Over here, groceries, fresh produce, we have fresh juices, waters. Chef Gary Netta has a plan. And as the culinary ambassador for the city of New Orleans, I just want to, you know, bridge the gap and work and say, okay, here's a, a better solution. Reprogramming what we eat, rethinking what we drink. To introduce affordable, fresh food to his community in Central City. The holistic culinary market is in Central City. On the corner of Jackson and Simon Bolivar Avenues sits a warehouse. The property has sat vacant for years, but two years ago, Chef Netta started working on a plan. A plan that has finally come to fruition called the Holistic Culinary Market, a space he's brought to life in the neighborhood he grew up in. When I was coming up, I knew we used to have different um, stores right here on Dry Street. We had grocery stores on the, on the different corners but it was more mom and pop. They don't have any of that anymore. Chef Netta says the space is a healthy corner store, not a food hall, where people will be able to buy fresh produce and get meals made filled with only fresh produce. He says he wanted to make a difference, so he started looking at how different food types impact different parts of the body. I just started researching, riding around, and seeing what's in this area. You know, we have a lot of corner stores, but they're not healthy corner stores. Chef Netta, a former trumpet player, says he also wanted to incorporate live music. First trumpet, I, I played at Nova. Chef Netta says while New Orleans is renowned for its rich culinary heritage, the city's vibrant food scene often overshadows the importance of fresh produce in people's diets. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana. Tomorrow there will be a ribbon cutting, and Thursday it will be open to the public at 11 a.m.